Hi, I'm Duncan Crisco, and I'm a full-time survivor. I'm Angela Crisco, and I'm a full-time survivor. We've been in the fifth wheel now for about two and a half, three months, and we've discovered that it gets kind of toasty about middle of the day. It's warm in here. Don't feel like cooking or preparing for supper. So I've been doing some research and trying to find our best option for uh, preparing a meal or cooking a meal. Sandwiches get old, salads get old. So I purchased the Instant Pot on Prime Day and got a really good deal on the six quart pot. And my husband didn't know that I had purchased it. So I have it here, sitting on a counter. He's seen it and I'm getting ready to cook my first meal in the Instant Pot. One of his favorite meals is potato corn chowder. So I found a really easy recipe online and I'm hoping that it turns out well and that he really likes it. So here we go and I'll let you watch as I prepare this meal and get the Instant Pot going and cook our dinner on this very hot July day. Okay, I have the recipe, I have the ingredients, and I'm ready to get started. The recipe calls for four pieces of bacon, but I'm a southern girl, so I did six pieces. Have you ever diced raw bacon? That is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Look, at, it's not diced. It, it's all mushy. The recipe calls for four potatoes, but I like my meat and potatoes, and the potatoes are small, so I did six potatoes. I'm slightly a rule breaker. So here we go, I'm gonna start my Instant Pot for the first time. Hit the button. Why isn't it coming on? Why isn't it coming on? Ah, there we go. Okay, let's add some bacon. The bacon is now in the Instant Pot sauteing and I will be cutting up some garlic, mincing garlic and cutting up onion in the meantime. The recipe calls for a whole onion. It looks like a lot of onion, so I'm only gonna use three-fourths of that onion. Of course I am. This bacon smells so good, but y'all, that doesn't even look like six pieces of bacon. Okay, so about five minutes into the sauteing process in the Instant Pot, and it's still pretty easy to touch. It's not hot on the side, which is good. It's midday, so I'm warm, but I don't feel like the bacon is putting too much heat back into the fifth wheel. So I've never minced garlic before. I've always just bought the stuff in the bottle or in a jar. And um, it's kind of kicking my butt right now. So instead of doing three cloves like it says, I'm only gonna do like maybe one. Okay, so I might try to do two or three, but really, it's not like garlic. Okay, so I really did break the rules this time. I stopped with the mincing of a real garlic clove and just added some straight from the bottle. Once you dice up four potatoes, that actually looks like a lot of potatoes. So we're going back to four potatoes in the recipe. Okay, I'm discovering that 32 ounces is actually four cups. I really didn't think I was gonna have enough vegetable broth, but I did. The recipe calls for 16 ounces of sweet kernel corn. I'm putting in 14 ounces. I couldn't find 16 ounces. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of thyme, some heavy cream, and flour. The recipe calls for a whisk. I don't have a whisk, at least in the RV. It's probably in a box in storage. The recipe says that if your heavy cream and flour is too thick, that you can add more vegetable broth to it. I don't have any more vegetable broth. There's about five minutes left of cooking and the Instant Pot is fairly cool to the touch, so that's good. Got a little warm in here, but I don't think it was because of me cooking. In the Instant Pot, I think it was because the vent was closed. 
even though I'm a little too short for this, I was able to open it up and now it's starting to cool off in here. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. I hope it tastes delicious. Let's find out. Oh, it smells good in here. Well, it's in the magic pot, the Insta pot. What if I told you it is potato corn chowder? Yes, potato corn chowder, potato corn chowder, potato corn chowder. Instapot corn chowder. Do you think that it has too much of one particular ingredient? Maybe pepper. It's got a lot of corn. It's good. Good chowder. Are full time survivors. survivors.